Welcome to Chopstick Cinema. I'm Celeste Heiter, your host and video chef for the Chopstick Cinema cooking video series. The destination is India. And the dish is samosas, little deep fried hand pies that may be filled with all kinds of tasty ingredients. I'd been eating Indian food in restaurants for years, but it wasn't until I made them myself that I first tasted samosas. I still remember the two questions I asked after that first bite. Why has no one ever told me about samosas? And why isn't all food this delicious? Here, I filled them with lamb and onions, and on a whim, some fresh mint that I happened to have on hand. And what a delightful addition to an already irresistible recipe. To make samosas, begin by preparing the filling. Heat a little vegetable oil in a skillet over medium heat. Add the lamb, onions, ginger, and garlic, and saute until the meat is lightly browned. Stir in the spices, season with a little salt, and if you're going to add fresh mint, wait until the filling cools so the mint doesn't wilt and turn dark. To make the dough, combine flour, salt, and ghee, or melted butter, in a large mixing bowl, and stir with a fork until the dough looks sort of like coarse meal. Add water a little at a time, and stir until the dough forms a ball and pulls away from the sides of the bowl. Turn the dough onto a lightly floured board and knead it for a few minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Pinch off a small piece of dough for testing the oil temperature later and divide the remaining dough into 12 walnut sized balls. And remember to cover the dough balls with a damp cloth to keep them from drying out. Dust the board with more flour and use a rolling pin to flatten each ball into a 5 inch circle and then use a pizza cutter or a large knife to cut the circle of dough in half. To assemble the samosas, hold one of the half circles in the palm of your hand and use your fingers to moisten the edges with water. Fold the straight edge in half to overlap and then press the edges together to form a small cone. Cup the open cone of dough in your hand and fill it with about a teaspoon of the lamb. To seal, pinch the curved edges of the cone together to form a small triangular pie. To fry the samosas, add about an inch of vegetable oil to a skillet over high heat. Drop a small piece of dough into the oil to test the temperature and when it sizzles and floats, the oil is ready. Carefully slide the samosas into the oil and be sure not to crowd your pan. When the samosas are golden brown on one side, use tongs to turn them over. Samosas will brown quickly, but that's okay because the filling is pre-cooked. When the samosas are golden brown, transfer them to a cooling rack or a plate lined with paper towels. One of the best things about this dough is that it doesn't absorb a lot of oil, so they always turn out light and crisp. To this day, I've still never eaten samosas in an Indian restaurant. I always make them myself, and I hope I've inspired you to try samosas in your own kitchen. <laughs>